week of very cold and rain, and then since then it's been like this moderate, it's been harvesting weather. Because you don't want it to be too hot when you're harvesting, because it's this is tractor. You may get a lot of phenolics in the grapes if they're too hot. So when, when, when do you pick, process. or did you start picking? When did you start picking? Or when did we start picking? It was picked on the 3rd of September. It's a super late, is the end of September? It's super late. Last year we we started on the 15th of August. So we're about two and a half weeks later than last year. And I think we'll finish, probably finish here in, before the beginning of August. Uh, that's it, what, October. 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 <laughs> October. Maybe next week. Good harvest this year? The harvest this year has been good. It's been... After a crazy year, though, you, know, you were saying yesterday the absolute bonkers weather conditions this year. I've been, it's been difficult, but good. It's good for quality wise. It's been difficult for me to make enough. I mean, on the basis that you ripped it all up and started again, why did you contour your mallet? Is it just an experiment, or was it? It looks this nice. this was a was a terraced vineyard like 50 years ago, but it had not been used since the 1950s, and we just needed more land. It was the only land we had left, and it it was good. We it's a bit difficult because it can't be worked so mechanically, but it makes good results, good grapes. loans from the bank at that time, the banking system was collapsed. Just, yeah, yeah. So all we could do was sell wine, we had to sell wine to pay the wages. And that's why we always had to be very <coughs> good value for money. Very. I mean, it wasn't something we had any choice about, we had to sell wine, we had to do anything from we could one, to sell yeah. wine. We're not like some, you know, yeah, yeah. son of some age, chateau age, owner age in for 10 years and say, are, you are, you are you still on a, on a cycle of build, invest, borrow, or are you now in a very comfortable place? Are you now like kind of, are you, are you where you want to be in terms of size? Or? It's a very difficult thing to say. I think it's getting a bit big now. I, I it's, would, it's a giant business. I would hope it would, <laughs> I hope it would develop slightly less fast yeah, <laughs> so that yeah. we can keep up. Yeah, yeah. Because we had one customer, one customer from Holland this year asked us for four million bottles more than last year. Four million bottles is like a thousand hectares of vineyard. Yeah, yeah. You can't just that. plant it and turn on a tap. You, know, yeah. you have to. You've got to plant five years ahead. Probably. Yeah, and it's the last few years it's been growing. Since John came in 2015, I was looking. 2015, we sold the whole winery like 11 million bottles, yeah. and this year it's going to be 30 million. So it's three times as big as it was six years ago. <laughs> wow. We need them to be a bit warmer when they get started, otherwise they don't ferment. And um, I think that, that's where the grapes got ripe first and, and best, for thinner soils. design that our winemakers like very fat and short so you get a wider skin contact you get a thinner cup back in the middle so they they press quite quickly and quite gently you know some bags some bags are on one side of the press so they have to come all the way across these ones have a bag in the middle and they press it All we can do in the winery is cock it up or not. See all the salt, just put in solar panels this year on all the roofs down there. So generate half our own electricity. Plan. We just sort of added a bit more every year and kind yeah. of kept rolling on. It's no architecture at all. We have no architect as you can not complaining. It's all good. 
Right, half we lost anyway. John. No, we're all John, fight everyone. We can do that because of these centrifuges. So when the red wines have finished their alcoholic fermentation, they clean them up until the food can now centrifuge works and spins it around. Before the malolactic fermentation, so you're getting all of the the leaves, the smelly, you know, which could go wrong. Just bits of seeds, proteins, and the fermentation yeast, dead yeast cells. Getting all that out of the wine quickly so that you can go through a very clean malolactic fermentation. We don't have to inoculate it, it goes through a lot of its own usually. Thank <laughs> you. 